when most people think about the physical harms caused by alcohol, they tend to think about liver damage and not damage to the brain. And there was a really a, a general misunderstanding about the brain damage caused by alcohol use and that there was a, really an absence of evidence around it within Wales. What we're doing is facilitating people who are most likely to come face to face with somebody who's potentially suffering from ARBD but not diagnosed. This is where the work with Pobble came about and we put together an awareness raising training package which um, has been undertaken by over 900 members of staff to date. The e-learning package has enabled our staff to be more aware of the signs and symptoms of our correlated brain damage. Staff are now able to kind of support people to recover from our correlated brain damage, whereas previously it was a condition that people believed there was no recovery from. So the research that the University of South Wales has done um, has been massive in terms of the impact of the people living in our projects. We think the application is global. Um, it's really exciting because the way it's delivered is very logical, it's very practical. But where we're particularly keen is that this is also integrated into government policy. There's been a development of a substance misuse tra treatment framework and this work is embedded within that as a principal recommendation. For us that is fantastic that our research is actually directly influencing the policy of the Welsh Government in relation to substance misuse in general, but ARBD in particular. I think sometimes something we, we particularly struggle with in, in the health service is taking what we understand through research, through academia, into clinical practice. But that's shifted with this project and I think that's a model that we really need to follow in other examples for other areas of care as well.